to Deepa Does It. My name is Deepa Rashad, and on every single episode of the show, I will be well doing things like cooking and also embarrassing myself. Go chips, go chips, get in my mouth, oh, and squeeze. <laughs> Should I do it? It's way too hot for me, by the way. Should I bite it? Have you done this? No, are you crazy, girl? Today we're gonna be making ahi tuna poke nachos. It's not a bowl, right? Just straight up nachos. No, straight up. So first, Chef MDP is gonna teach me how to make it. He's gonna leave. Then I'm gonna do it all by myself. And after that's done, he's gonna be back and he's gonna rate me in three different categories. And they are taste, presentation, and heart because Y'all know I need the points, like seriously. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you never ever miss an episode of Deepa Does It. And please feel free to hype me up in the comments because well, it makes me feel good about myself. MVP, how are you today? Deepa, I'm good. How are you? Thank you for having me in your kitchen. I am so excited. As soon as I heard tuna poke nachos, I was like, yes, living the dream. So before we get into making it, tell me all about this dish. Why is it one of your favorite things to make? So I always want to make dishes that take me back to a fun moment, a great memory, you know, and, and food is about bringing people together and yeah. making it fun and great energy. So I also heard that you are the king of seafood, wow. so. Wow, 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 wow. wow. I don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> I have made a few seafood dishes in my day. Thank you, first off. You're welcome. And I just love working with great, sustainable seafood. So, are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Okay, let's do the dish. Nailed it. But we need an apron, please. Look at this. A guest chef apron, if you want. Just give it a little tie in the back. You know what's up. Okay. There it is. Squeeze it tight. Do I, wrap look, it around. Do I look professional now? I think you do. Excitement on this. I know, my eyes are just like, oh, so you know what? Little tip of the pros, too. You see that beautiful, sort of pinkish color? Yes. You're looking for this. Next up, fresh limes, of course. Little tip. You know, you know the rule of the limes. A nice roll. Right a nice roll. roll. Get started on Okay. Little... Do you know that's the move? Can I have my limes back no. in the lemon? Look She's at enjoying this. that. Look at the roll that I'm on. You are literally. Let me roll your limes and your lemon. <laughs> How hot is this? So Thai chilies aren't overly hot. Should I do it? Way too hot for me, by the way. Should I bite it? Have you done this? No, are you crazy? Are you ready? She's going for it. If I cry. Oh my. That was a really that big was, bite. No, that was a good bite. <laughs> Milk? Milk, anyone? Is it coming on? <laughs> this is a it's bad idea. On. Okay, <laughs> so let's get in. So we've got our canola oil. So this is, this is for the chips then? This is for the chips. Okay. Wontons. Okay. We all love them. So we're taking these beautiful wonton wrappers, and what I want to do is I'm just going to take our sharp knife, and I want to cut them just on a bit of an angle, and we're going to divide them up. This should be at around 350 to 370 max, and that's only going to take about, you know, 20 seconds per side, but you can notice that the edges first are going to start to curl up yeah. to a really great spot. Always working in small batches. Mm -hmm. Small batches only because we never want to overcrowd it. Okay, Deepa, so here we go. Chips, <laughs> chips are done. They look good. Right? Now, wait, 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 when do I get to eat them? Well, let me season them first. <laughs> so a little tip of the pros, just a high season. Why do we high season? It evenly seasons. That's right. <laughs> you just want to have a little bit of seasoning on there. Not too crazy, not too much. Now, do you want to give it a try? Okay, I do. I'll have one too. Which one can I take? Well, you pick. Okay, pick The world's your oyster. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. You hear that crunch? Mmm. Mmm. Light, mm. crispy, they just want to make us dance. Go chips, go chips, get in my mouth. Oh, good. Eat the chips. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, so I can eat. <laughs> you, that was pretty good, actually. So now we've got our beautiful, beautiful, our ahi tuna. So we're just going to put that on the board. So one thing that we want to do when you're working with tuna is we want to make sure to cut against the grain. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to see, again, we want to cut it into long strips, mm -hmm. almost like little fillets. And then from there, we'll just slice it and cube it, okay? Right. I generally want to have mine always like a quarter of an inch kind of thing. Okay. And that's just going right into our mixing bowl. And again, we've got working on always clean surfaces. I'm actually just going to cut and get into our avocado. So remember, you never want to actually just be very careful. I'm sure you love avocado, right? I've never cut an avocado. Here we go. This is what we're doing. So we're looking. Oh my God, oh, look at the color. That looks perfect. Look at the vibrancy. See that? So always being very careful, working away from you. Knife into the nut, slip a little twist. 
I'm just following it all the way along the edges. And we're just making our small little cuts. So just cubes. Just little cubes. Okay. That's it. And we are just going to spoon in all of our lovely avocado right into our bowl. Ooh. Just gonna squeeze our our lime. And Chile, just I'm gonna watch how you're doing your lemons. Okay. Okay. Some people don't like this part. Because if you have a cut on your hand, for example. I know, and then it burns. Oh my you know. god. Can you also, imagine? I feel like that takes very good arm strength, which I might be lacking in. And we're just gonna start to sort of bring all of that flavor and everything together. You can see there's almost a little oh. bit of curing going on right now too. Yeah, like, oh my gosh, just. Right? Oh, yes. We'll set that aside. Okay, perfect. Next up, we're gonna make our sriracha mayo. So super easy, nothing crazy. You've got a tablespoon or more of mayo. We've got our sriracha, I love sriracha. Ooh. Salt and pepper. Put a little bit of fresh lime juice into our sriracha mayo. And I guess depending on your, your level of heat, whatever you like, you can always add more sriracha, more whatever, exactly. right? Exactly, yep, exactly. So we've got enough that we're looking for here. Thai chili, here we go, we're having okay. some fun. We're just going to open it down the middle, mm -hmm. and I think we talked about it, but we're gonna take out the seeds. Seeds, right. Yeah, bit of a rough chop on that through it. Deepa, do you have a bowl in your kitchen here? A somewhere? bowl in the a kitchen. Bowl? What do you got there? I have That's a small perfect. bowl. Can we put a little bit of cold water by chance? You're welcome. Is it cold? Is it? It is, right? Oh, Deepa, please. No, cold. Colder? I don't know. Slightly to, cold? But to me, it feels cold. Look a, at this. A ball of ice. A ball of ice. That's Here perfect. you go. As you were doing, helping me out massively, by the way. <laughs> Double bump. Thank you. I've, I've taken a scallion, and what I've done is I've just trimmed it off, and I'm making, if you want to see here, we're just going to make thin, long strokes, mm -hmm. and just super long little pieces. And what we want to do, and if you can see here, nice and beautiful, the reason why you put it into cold water mm -hmm. is it's going to curl. Oh. Let's start to build, yeah? Okay, perfect. So we're just gonna bring that all together. And you can see, like this is just something that you could have, oh my God, sitting beachside, <gasps> picture ourselves in Mexico. And then this is gonna be a lot. Oh and so yeah. You just want to fire it all on top. Like look at, start on top, and don't worry, it's gonna get a little crazy. We can move things around after. So again, we want a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. you, could do, you could do this in a squeeze bottle as well, but we're creating a piece of art here, Deepa. Yes. This is gonna be a tad bit spicy, but that's okay. Oh my god. MVP might die, Deepa's gonna be loving this. <laughs> she eats peppers, black and white sesame seeds, <laughs> toasted. Nice. So we're just bringing this around, and then we're just gonna garnish just on top, just to give us ourselves a little bit of height. Deepa. Oh my gosh. How do we do? It's a like, serious plate of what? pokey wonton Look nachos. Look at this glorious, beautiful mm -hmm. behemoth. Right. Matches oh your shirt. Gosh. There's a lot of color oh, going on here. I'm gonna go right in. Okay. Hold hey. Up. Hey, sorry. I should have cheers to you. Yes, Deepa. Mmm. Mmm. It's really nice texture-wise because it's super crunchy. The tuna itself is so soft with the avocado. You get all those citrus um, flavors as well. The Absolutely. lemon, the lime, you can taste everything. A little bit of heat. Yep, just a perfect amount of heat. That's like an but, MDP amount of heat. Oh. Now you can always zip oh. it up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. so delicious. And honestly, pretty simple. Pretty like, simple. Yeah. I, 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 think, totally. I think I got this. So I have a lot of faith in you. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of faith in you. I think that you can definitely do this. You know what I loved is like your energy level. Mm -hmm. A1 sous chef in my book. Mm -hmm. You ask great questions. Mm -hmm. Your dancing skills were at least a 6.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. I think I'm ready for this. My first instinct is to take everything and just mix it in a big bowl, but I know it's individual stuff. So the first thing is I'm gonna take my canola oil. This is a cup of canola oil over to the pan here. We're gonna turn this on. We're gonna put it on high heat because we like things hot when it comes to oil. So while this is heating up, I'm gonna pop back over here and I'm gonna grab a stack of the wonton dough. That's all you gotta do, I think, is take this massive knife and just cut it straight down the middle so that you get your nacho chip shapes. That's it. 
deeper. Put a little <laughs> muscle into it. <laughs> you got it. So I know I have to test the oil to make sure that it doesn't end up to be a complete disaster. So I'm gonna take one of these. <laughs> not ready yet. It's not ready. That's okay. This is so sad. This wonton is like, why did you do this to me? While I'm waiting for this, I'm gonna get to my favorite part here. Let's roll some lemon and limes. We're gonna need these later. I think the key is once you feel it soften a little bit, you know it's good to go. Um, this oil and the frying is not my best friend right now. So while I'm waiting, I think the best thing to do now would be the aioli, which I think is pretty simple. So from what I remember, I do need a spoon. Lucky for me, here's a spoon. <laughs> so all I gotta do now is mix some mayo in here, get your sriracha in here as well. And I know we put some lime in the fish, but there is also some lime in this. And then we just mix it all together, get the colors in there. Let me hold it this way so you can experience the mixing of the aioli. Let me check back on my chips. Oh, progress! Okay, I see a bubble <laughs> here and there. So I'm assuming that that means that it's actually heating up now. So I'm gonna bring these over here and put them in one at a time. I'm just gonna plop, there we go. <laughs> Plopping is a bit more simplistic, but you know what? It still gets the job done. I know we said these fry really quickly, so about 20-ish seconds on each side. So some of these are probably ready for flipping. I would make sure to keep a, a real close eye on those because you don't want to burn them. I'm now just waiting for it to turn like a golden brown color because now I don't know which ones I flip. They've been set to lay over here. I'm gonna put these back here. Chips look pretty good, Deepa. Chips look pretty good. You know, it still looks pretty good. So now I know we want to season these to make sure that they have some flavor so it's not bland. So I'm gonna take some salt over here and just do a light dusting on the chips. Oh yeah. You got some nice, oh, also tip, yes. You have to sprinkle high so the seasoning is completely even. The high seasoning. Clean hands, time for the tuna. Chef was saying to cut against the grain for the tuna and just quarter inch pieces. Nice and chunky. Get nice and friendly with the tuna and say, hey, Mr. Tuna, <laughs> you're gonna be in my belly. Or, you know, the speaking to the fish is optional, depending on what you like. We have this cut. Now it's time to cube it. Please don't <laughs> make fun of my chopping skills, but they're honestly not the greatest. So I'm gonna combine this with my avocado. So I'm gonna put the tuna in here first. Make sure it's all set and ready. I think. I don't know what this is, but sure, we're gonna use this for the lemon. Oh, this is gonna be the fun part when I have no arm strength, but it's okay. We'll get as much out of this as we can. So hand to catch the seeds and squeeze. <laughs> and squeeze. <laughs> All right, no one's got time to sit here and watch me do this. We're gonna double hand this baby, yes. I got some pretty good eyesight. I think I can find the seeds in there and pick it out after. That looks good enough. Okay, lime. Okay, you know, I'm pretty strong for the lime. Dish, so now it's the avocado part, which is what I'm afraid of. So, we take the knife and we... Watch your hand. Cut it around the entire thing. Nice clean cut. And then you, whoa, yes, I got it. I was actually really nervous about this part. So now, this is cut. You wanna gentle, <laughs> gentle. Knife in the nut, gentle. And you lift, and ta-da! I was actually very stressed about that. I, I want every single piece of avocado in this. So I'm just gonna lightly scrape this off. Scoop out your nice avocado. Make sure you get every bit in here. And then we are going to dice this up 
to add with our tuna to the bowl it goes. I have my lime in there, I have my lemon juice in there. We're gonna give it a nice mix. Make sure that it's all getting to melt together. You want the avocados to mush just slightly. Mix it with all the juices. Okay, TBH, which means to be honest, just in case you didn't know. Um, this smells great. And it looks great to me. Oh, garnish. That's the one thing I forgot, scallions. Oh, and the chilies. The thing that I burnt my mouth with. How could I forget that that needs to go on top? So I'm gonna use a few sprigs here. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We cut thin-ish slices to, okay, like, let's be real. Chef is a chef. His knife skills are way better than mine. So we're gonna get what we, <laughs> what we're gonna get from my knife skills, which is probably nothing amazing. You know, this is what we're gonna get from Chef Deepa today. So we're gonna put it in the cold water to hopefully curl up, but at this point, I don't know. I am going to put four Thai chili peppers as my garnish. So I know he doesn't like the seeds, but we're gonna leave it anyway. <laughs> Moment of truth. Time for the assembly of my pokey bowl. Nacho, that's not what it's called. For my nachos. <laughs> so stack on the bottom. I'm going for a more rustic look because I mean, that's probably all I can do. Now we're gonna put the tuna and the avocado on top. Ooh. Okay, honestly, this looks pretty good to me and it smells really delicious. Let's do some of the aioli on top. Nice drip. Yes. We're gonna get real creative. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to happen. I'm just like, you know, it's like a painting. Let's just make it pretty. Some Thai chilies. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be quite spicy. I totally uncurled scallions, yay! <laughs> you know what, even though they didn't curl, we're still gonna put them on there. We got a nice little ocean wave. We have the sailboat with the sail. <laughs> this is Deepa's ahi tuna poke nachos with the sailboat. Yay! <laughs> it is time for the moment of truth. We are gonna have Chef MDP back in the kitchen with me. Chef, please come enjoy Deepa, my masterpiece. Deepa, Deepa, yes? what do we have here? So now I try. Okay, I'm gonna try with you as okay. well. I'm gonna try a chip first. Oh, right, I didn't try. I didn't taste anything that I, I did. I noticed that. Good, uh -huh. crunchy, mm -hmm. seasoned, mm -hmm. pepper, uh -huh. a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's some residual heat because I think there's like nine million of the dark chilies going <laughs> Sorry. on. Sorry. Some avocado. Oh, you're getting right in there. Yes. Look at that crunch. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm actually pretty proud. It's honestly very good. Mm -hmm. And it is your nacho. It wasn't to follow mine exactly. So I think your taste is about four, four to five. Okay. You're bagging. Wait, you're not, not five? No. No, you, like, nobody's perfect. So taste, uh, presentation. Now, again, Jackson Pollock, super rad. You, you know, I know that you have a lot of energy, a lot of personality, I see it on the play. Mm -hmm. I feel the energy, I can feel that positivity. Love the cute little boat here. I'm gonna give you five for presentation. Oh, yeah. Yes! yeah, yeah, And heart. Now, heart's a good one. Okay. Heart, heart, heart. She's like me, we cook with passion. We cook for fun. I'm giving a seven out of five. Seven out of five! So that what? makes, and the team might not be happy, but that's gonna be, <laughs> what's that? You've got five and seven is 13 and four. Is that 17? Yes. That's 17. Wait, is it? No, it's not. I can't add. Help me out seven, here. Seven, 16 now out this, of 15. No, this makes good. <laughs> no, this makes good TV. There you go. 16 out of 15. 16 out of 15. 
So you you literally might break the internet with this. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. There's certain things that could break the internet. You actually went above, and because the heart, the energy, the attitude—that's what it's about. Yay! Ooh, 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 ooh. Perfect. More than perfect score. More than perfect score. So 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 though, would you serve this in your restaurant? No, not a chance. Absolutely not. Thanks so much for coming out. Please tip your server well. Thanks so much for joining us in this episode, guys, and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode of the show because we're gonna make some more trendy foods together.